Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and welcome back to the Async Articulations category. We're talking about the version 27 update and what the Smufel fonts have brought to us for articulations now, which is kind of nifty. There's a lot of stuff that you can use, particularly in the Finale Maestro uh, Smufel font. So I'm going to go into my articulation tool, and I'm going to click on a note here to get the articulation selection dialog box. And this will sort of look very similar to the previous versions of Finale. If you start to look a little bit closer, you'll start to notice a few extra things. This is an extra articulation. Uh, we have a couple different Boeing articulations that are new, some fermatas that are new. Uh, this is a check mark that can be used instead of a breath mark. Uh, a couple other things in here that are uh, relatively new. And then starting right about here around uh, item number 49 and below, if you remember from the previous versions of Finale, these were all done as shapes and they looked a lot different in this window. Uh, for this one, for example, if you look at it, it, you can see that now it's a character, which means that this uh, item exists as a character in the Smeeful fonts. Before, this was a shape and it was designed a specific way to look exactly like this, but uh, in Finale 27 in the Smeeful fonts, you no longer need to create a lot of these things as shapes. In fact, all of these brass techniques, the falls and the doits and everything, these are actual characters now, they're not shapes. And I think it's a little bit better. I think the characters um, work a little bit better as articulations as opposed to uh, the shapes. So uh, that's definitely a, a noticeable but small addition to the uh, Smeeful fonts and, and Finale version 27. Now the real bonus here is all of the extra articulations that uh, the Smeeful font provides for us. So I'm just going to do the create here. And uh, these articulations will be in the new Finale Maestro font. And by the way, the Finale Maestro font will be the most complete. All of the other Smeeful fonts will have a lot of these extra things, but not nearly as many as the Finale Maestro. So this is the Finale Maestro font. We're going to click Main. And um, as far as articulations go, small a articulations, so what we normally consider, you know, accents and staccatos, those are actually articulations. But we know in finale, you know, an articulation can be other things like um, uh, fermatas and ornaments and stuff. So just the small a articulations, um, the list is not all that extensive. You can see them here. There's accents and tenutos and all the other things that we normally would see for articulations. There are a couple uh, interesting new ones here that you might want to use. This is a LV uh, actually, um, both of these. And uh, so yeah, so there you go. Nothing uh, drastic about these. The one thing I will note is that with the Smewful fonts now, um, all of these articulations have two different uh, characters, um, and they're designed specifically to be placed on the staff in a certain way. And the accent, for example, has, this is called accent above, and this one is called accent below. This has to do with the handles and where they are in relation to the notes. So in the Smufel fonts, it's kind of important to make sure that you set up these articulations correctly using two different ones within the, uh, the main symbol and the flipped symbol. Before, in Finale 26, it was just one symbol that you selected and then put it on either side. But um, with the Smufel fonts, it works a little bit differently. So you definitely want to use um, the pair of them if you're going to uh, uh, choose one of these other articulations here. Other than that, the small A articulations, there's not that many more of them. There is some medieval Renaissance articulations in one of these categories. I believe it's this one. Um, so if you're doing uh, some chant notation, you have some special articulations uh, for that as well. As I said in Finale, an articulation covers more than just articulations. There's ornaments as well. So let's just take a look at some of those. And in this category, we're looking for common ornaments here. And you'll see basically the common ornaments, including a few things that we may not have had before or had to go outside of the, the main font to get. Like we have uh, these turns and different versions of these turns and vertical versions of these turns, a couple different mordants here, um, and this special Haydn ornament here, uh, and just a couple other things. These are the common ornaments. There's another category here, if I can find it, called Other Baroque Ornaments. Where is it? Other Baroque Ornaments. And so this is uh, some things that you may need if you're doing Baroque music. Um, these are special ornaments for that. And then there's one other category called Pre-Composed Trills and Mordents. Here we go. And so now in this category, we have a whole bunch of different ornaments with all kinds of fancy things uh, to the left and right. If you know exactly what these are and how to use them, this will be really handy. You can see how many of these there are. In addition to ornaments, you saw before that there were some fancy fermatas. Uh, Finale 
and or the Smoothfill spec uh, calls those holds and pauses. So if you find the uh, category for holds and pauses, there it is, um, you'll see your Fermata. And again, there's a, an above and a below, although that's actually the same from the previous version. So, uh, And then you also have the special different Fermatas, and these are all have descriptions above here if you don't really know what they are. Very short Fermata above, this is short Fermata below, etc. Et I believe that's long Fermata above. Um, so a bunch of different uh, options here for your holds and pauses. There's your check mark, a couple different types of caesuras, um, and then this uh, special guy here, the, the breath mark with the, the Fermata arc over it. So that's kind of cool too. We have a bunch of different uh, holds and pauses to choose from as well. And then there's a whole category of types of articulations called techniques, and there's just a ton of them all throughout this Smoothful spec. So I'll just kind of see if I can find some of them quick. Uh, here's some in the accordion. These are special accordion techniques. There is the brass techniques. Um, again, all of these can be used as articulations, and some of these you'll you remember actually exist in the articulation selection dialog box already, but there's even more to choose from if you want. There is something in the guitar here. Here's some other articulations, some string numbers and other things that you can use specifically for the guitar if you need it. There's a category of handbells, and uh, some of these symbols can be used as articulations. Again, a lot of these symbols, you know, you have to decide whether or not you want to use them as an articulation or an expression, depending on how it's going to fit in with your score and what the purpose of it is. But, uh, you know, some of these things can be definitely used as articulations. Um, harp techniques, the same sort of thing. Um, here's your pedals, which is probably work better as an expression, but there's some other things that might work well as articulations. Uh, there's keyboard techniques. So again, you got your pedal markings, a couple different ways to do the pedal markings. There's a, sus a sustenuto marking, which is nice. Um, some half uh, closed pedal markings or whatever, just a bunch of stuff here. Uh, including what I kind of like here is the, the brackets for, you know, play with right hand, play with right hand, end, play with left hand, play with left hand, end. Uh, this is definitely a, a, a good addition in the Smeeful font. In fact, let me just get out of here because I want to show you this other file where I actually created those already uh, to show you how to use these and uh, how I created these because I think there's a, a, a good way to use these. Um, I have them down here and the way that I created these I have these set um, so in this one I have the main symbol and flip symbol being different but I'm only using the main symbol for both and I don't have anything checked here and I have manual selected essentially this is just allowing me to kind of freeform this position here the next one by the way is just a duplicate of this except I use the flip symbol for both above and below so I'll always get this version of it so you can kind of see that I have four different ones of these and they're completely kind of freestanding so you can just select one and then move it kind of wherever you want and it won't jump anywhere it won't flip it won't do anything um, and you can see how easy that is to just kind of stick in there and if you want the other one oops not that one if you want uh, this one here you can do that as well and again just drag it to uh, wherever you think it should go so that's a nice little addition you don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to do a, a custom smart line and rotate it and all that stuff um, so that's a nice little uh, addition as well let's go back here uh, do create so I can get back into this symbol selection dialog box. So that's keyboard techniques. There's one called percussion playing techniques. Let me see if I can find that. Here it is. Um, again, some of these things can be really used as articulation, some as expressions, but there's definitely some things that can be done with percussion playing techniques. There is plucked techniques, and again, this is like stuff like snap pizzicatos, uh, buzz pizzicatos. There is the arpeggiated up and down arrows here, which is nice. Now, this is the Finale Maestro font. I actually prefer these from the Finale Engraver Smeeful font because there are uh, three different versions of each of these, short, medium, and longer version of these. Uh, so in this case, I actually prefer the uh, Finale Engraver font. And incidentally, if you're looking for those in the Finale Engraver font, they're not in this category. They're in the Alternates and Extras category. Just FYI. Um, again, just some other techniques for uh, plucked uh, techniques. Incidentally, the normal roll, let me just show you this, uh, where is it? This guy here, 
This exists in the alternates and extras category. I think the reason for this is because Finale handles these roles in a very specific way, differently than Dorico for sure, and uh, any other music notation program. Uh, it actually just uses this little segment and duplicates it vertically in order to create these roles. So this is sort of a special uh, case for Finale, which is why it exists in the alternate and extras section and not the, uh, the, the other uh, plucked string section. Uh, oops, let's go here, go back here. Uh, there is something for string techniques. Again, you have all these types of bowings, a whole bunch of different things. What is that? Half harmonics, um, uh, overpressure down bow. There's just a lot of nifty things um, that we didn't have easy access to before. It's all within the, the Smufel font right now, which is really cool. There is uh, vocal techniques. Again, just some extra things if you need to use these as articulations. And then wind techniques. Again, uh, these are sort of the same things as the, the jeté techniques in the strings, but uh, you can use these as well. Uh, we have different types of three-quarters closed hole type of situations. Um, so yeah, so a bunch of different things uh, for wind techniques as well. In addition to the techniques, we also have uh, tremolos, which are used as uh, articulations in Finale. So here's the tremolo category, and you can see you have one, two, and three, but you also have four, five, and uh, different versions of the tremolos. Um, these may be for the purpose of playback, but you know, Finale doesn't uh, distinguish between the two anyway at this point. And actually, there is some issue with playback that I'm going to get to later on in the uh, in this video you've got your z uh tremolos some fancy ones and some other things so uh, that's the tremolos category and then also i just want to look at the alternates and extra section because there are some things that can be used as articulations here as well um like here's another uh, bowing type of situation some other alternate snap pits articulations uh let's see here Scroll down past all these clefts. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. You have all these turns now with the accidentals above and below. So that's really handy too. There's, these are just one character now and you have uh, every, I guess, uh, option of sharp, flat, below, above and everything. Plus you have your alternate type of trills here. Um, just a, a few extra things. And I think that's it within this, uh, within this alternates and extra section. Now, as I mentioned, not everything exists in all of the uh, Smufel fonts. So if I just go in here real quick and change uh, the default font from Finale Maestro to, let's say, Finale Jazz, and click OK, and we go into the Articulation Selection dialog box, you'll even see that some of the articulations that exist in the uh, Finale Maestro just don't exist in the Jazz font. So you will get some of these question marks for some of these other things. This is probably those special formatas, these two guys right here. It just doesn't exist in the Finale uh, Jazz font. And if we go into Create to see what's here, you'll see that the category list is a lot shorter, obviously. And uh, a lot of those things that I showed you, I mean, there are some string techniques, but it's not nearly as as uh, filled out as the Finale Maestro. So yes, I mean, you know, there are some extras here and there in all of these fonts, but again, not nearly as much as in the Finale Maestro font. Now let's talk about playback because this is kind of a drag right now in version 27.0. Uh, there's two ways that articulations get played back in Finale. The first is that some of these uh, basic articulations, like the staccato and the accent and everything, if you look at the articulation designer, they do have a playback effect here, and there's four, three types of playback effect, uh, attack, duration, and velocity. Um, these types of articulations that have the playback effect baked into the articulation designer, these will still work. So your accent will still work, your um, uh, tenudos will still work and everything. The things that do not work with the Smufel fonts right now are things like ornaments. So in the old, uh, in, in Finale 26, and even in the non-Smufel files in 27, the Mordent, for example, you know, you can see that it has no playback effect in the articulation designer, but human playback actually recognizes this character and plays the Mordent. That is, a, is true of all of these ornaments here. The trills, uh, it's also true of the fermatas and also the tremolos, right? These are things that are being interpreted by human playback. So the problem is currently that human playback is searching for these characters in the old non smufal slots. And uh, so, you know, changing these to the, to the smufal versions has sort of broken the link between human playback and these particular um, articulations that are trying to be interpreted by human playback. This is 
it just seems like something like they didn't have enough time to fix this yet in the program. I, I know that this is high on their priority list of things to address, but for now, it's really, really a drag that a lot of these things don't play back. Like the, tr the trills no longer play back in the Smewful fonts. Uh, it's, it's a bummer that they had to release the program before they fixed this. Uh, it's one thing I, I feel like if they had waited another week to get this done, it might have been a better situation. But it is what it is. I know it's high on their priority list. And, um, you know, hopefully in the 27.1 the or maybe even sooner, they'll, they'll start to address some of these things. The other thing is that now that these Smeeful fonts are sort of standardized and there's a lot more different types of mordents and all that stuff, it's possible that they will expand that human playback recognition, which would also be really handy as well. So, you know, all of those turns that I showed you with the flats and sharps, maybe they'll start to recognize those. Maybe they'll start to start to recognize some of those special uh, Baroque ornaments and stuff like that. You know, time will tell. Just to illustrate this, if I just put a mordent on this first note and play back, you'll see that nothing happens. Now, the one workaround for now for this is that you can go in here and just change the fonts of these. So if I were to take this mordent and go in here and set the font not to the Finale Maestro font, but if I were to find the original uh, Maestro font, which still exists and is still usable in Finale, if I can actually find it, uh, LM, there it is, Maestro. Now, it's not going to appear correctly, but you can fix that, of course, by uh, going into the symbol selection for the, um, uh, the Maestro font and choosing the right one, and then choosing the right one here as well. So now it'll show correct, and now because it's got the right font slot here for the mordent, I'll just do that one more time here, uh, it should play back correctly just like that. So that is sort of a temporary fix and you can do that for any articulation that you absolutely have to have playback for. Like if you are if you just need to have the trills playback, you can just swap out the trill for the original Meister font and find the, the trill character. It's kind of a bummer that this is a situation with this right now, but um, again, I think it's high on their priority list. Hopefully uh, this will get resolved uh, relatively soon. All right, so there you go. So that is the Smeeful articulations. There's definitely a lot more to choose from, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, it's a bummer that they kind of uh, ran out of time, I assume, uh, to fix all these playback issues, but hopefully that will get addressed sooner than later. And uh, so, yeah, so there you go. That is the Smeeful articulations um, in Finale 27. I hope this has helped. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon on the next video.